Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Have you ever run queries and wished that the output could be saved as a permanent table? That is exactly what the Make Table Queries in Access do. A Make Table Query in Access creates a new table as the output of a query instead of simply displaying a query result set. This new permanent table can be useful in a variety of ways. You could use it as a basis for other queries, it could serve to back up important data, or it could show selected information from multiple underlying tables in a single table which you could then export to Microsoft Excel for some spreadsheet style analysis. Since the basis of the Make Table Query is a standard select style query type, you can restrict the columns and rows that are displayed in the new table by picking just the fields you'd like to make in the new table and also applying query criteria to restrict the rows that would appear in the new table. Now the fields that comprise the new table created from the Make Tables query result set will retain the data type and field size properties that were assigned to the original fields. Other properties you may have set for the base table fields will not be inherited or passed on to the new fields, so you may need to re-enter validation rules and other property settings if needed. Now to create a Make Table query, you would first create a standard query, select the fields that you want from the desired tables. So let's say for example we wanted to see the name of any customer who was not in the US. So we're going to add the company name and the country. Our criteria then is going to be not equal to USA. At that point, use the drop-down at the top for query type and click the little drop-down arrow and choose Make Table Query. That will bring up the Make Table dialog box. Here you type in the name for the new table that will be created when you run the query. If you wanted to, you could also select another table into which to overwrite the uh, data that you're actually creating. And once again, it could be in the current database, or note you could even put it into another database, and you could click the Browse button to go select the other database into which to put the table. Now when you had made your choices in the Make Table dialog box, simply click OK. When you run the query in the future, it'll tell you the number of rows that you're about to paste into a new table and if you're ready to do that you would click yes. You can close the query and even save it if you'd like. And then just click OK. And you'll see the icons a little bit different from the regular select query icon. If we look in our tables now, we have a new permanent table. And here are all our international customers. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.